Hi, it's me, Sandy, and I just wanted to take a moment to share just a few of my favorite cheapies. Um, totally random, they're not in any one category. They're just some cheapies that I've discovered through, you know, watching reviews, reading on Fragrantica, and just various sources. And so I'm just gonna start right now. So this is um, Elizabeth Taylor Love and White Diamonds. And I love this size. It was a 15 mil. I wish everything came in a 15 mil, 15 or 20. It's perfect. It's plenty where you can really go crazy with it and use it quite a few times, but um, it's not so much that if you don't really like it, you don't feel like you wasted money. Um, this is a very pronounced um, beachy scent. So what it reminds me of is I smelled like tuberose and beach suntan lotion, like um, kind of reminds me of Bobbi Brown Beach, the perfume. Um, longevity isn't very great. Um, you can spray fairly heavily. Um, I took it to Palm Springs on a trip. I wore it for my night out perfume and I sprayed pretty heavily and it was perfect. It wasn't too strong, but it was enough that I felt like I smelled good and it's um, just a very uh, feminine, floral, tropical, um, sunscreen type scent. So um, very affordable. I definitely would say look it up, look into it. Uh, Love and White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. The next one is also kind of a similar um, beachy, sorry, my, <laughs> trying to get a decent um, setup. I don't have a good setup yet. Um, well, I probably never will. <laughs> this is Katy Perry Indie, and this one's really a surprise. So I've had this one probably about a year and a half. Um, it's really pretty. It has, it's a sandalwood, and it, to me, when, the first time that I sprayed it, I had had a, a pretty hefty decant of Santal 33 by Le Labo, and it's got a lot of the same qualities. It's that type of sandalwood. So if you kind of get a little bit of a pickle or a dill, dill pickle note from Santal 33 and some sandalwood fragrances, you'll probably pick that up here because I do too. But having said that, don't let that scare you off because I know for me, I first when I first started smelling that type of scent, I, it was a turn off to me. Um, but now I've grown to really like it. And it's, it's just kind of, I think my nose has adjusted, but this is just a warm, creamy, um, it's got a warm, creamy sandalwood. There's like a hint of kind of a coconut undertone. So it's a little bit beachy. Um, it's, it's very much like a skin scent and I feel like it must have ambroxan or one of those type of aroma chemicals in it because um, it lasts all day. Um, if you spray moderately, it will last all day and it's pretty. Um, I think it's very niche smelling, especially for the price. So Katy Perry Indie. And there's another one, Indivisible, which I have not tried, but that one apparently has more coconut. Um, the next one that I've discovered that I'm just waiting to find a full-size bottle, they're everywhere at TJ Maxx and things. It's Calvin Klein in Into You. There's a two there if you can't see it. And it's the For Her. And I love this one. Oh my gosh. Love it. Um, if you read reviews on Fragrantica, they're kind of mixed. And a lot of people say, oh, this smells really masculine. It smells like men's cologne. I don't see that, not my nose anyway. So I almost wonder if those people got the into you for him, or if maybe just, I don't know, maybe my nose just picks up the feminine side. I mean, I shouldn't say feminine side, it's unisex, but to me it kind of goes in that category of like, um, you smell citrus, you smell vanilla, you smell um, something green. I think it's cactus in this but it kind of reminds me of like the sort of the smell of gypsy water or toca colette or um, bohemian soul can't remember that company's name but it's that kind of scent i'm not saying it's a smell alike for any of those but 
I love it. It's super cheap. Um, you can just spray it heavily and you'll be able to smell it, but it's not going to be strong or overpowering. So super nice. I consider this one of my absolute best finds this year. And last but not least, my beloved um, Tous Gold. I love this scent. I'm not much for florals normally. Um, I definitely don't like gourmand. I'm not a gourmand person, perfume wise. Um, so this one is, what this kind of reminds me of is, it's got kind of a quality to it like Jador by, um, who makes Jador? Dior, I think. Um, the same kind of, same type of scent. It's a soft, like a mellow floral that's very clean. It doesn't go full on soap, um, like some fragrances go fully soapy, but it has a hint of a soapy quality, so it definitely smells clean. It smells classy. When I wear this, First of all, it has pretty good longevity. It'll last me um, a, at least a half work day. I might refresh it. Um, it's so pretty. When I wear this, I always say to myself, why don't I wear this more? It smells classy and I just feel a little bit elevated when I wear it. Um, this is a, and, and honestly, the, the bear on the bottle, okay, yeah, but fingerprints aside, the bottle is actually very pretty. It's pretty sitting on my um, vanity and it's uh, nice quality and it's quite sophisticated or maybe that's not the word I want, but it's classy. I keep using that word, but it is. And that's how I smell when I wear this. I feel like I just smell good and that's kind of nice. And I feel professional when I wear it too. So it would be a really good office scent or um, you could, I can't imagine a time or place when you wouldn't smell really good wearing this. There's another Tousse that's just Tousse. This is Tousse Gold. There's a Tousse that I think has a silver cap. So that one I'm really interested in trying too. But I think this was, I don't know, $25 maybe on fra Fragrance Net maybe. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share some of my favorite cheapies. I'll try to do it again sometime if anyone was interested. Have a good day. Take care.